Hello, this is Dr. Sandra Cabot. This video is going to enlighten you about the causes of gallbladder disease. Let's look at them individually. One cause of gallbladder disease can be a lack of bile production. This can be caused by an imbalance in metabolism known as insulin resistance and is often associated with a fatty liver. Insulin resistance is caused by a diet too high in carbohydrates, such as sugar, processed foods and grains, and is often associated with being overweight. The high insulin levels reduce the production of bile by the liver and increase the amount of cholesterol in the bile which makes the bile thick and sludgy. A diet that is too low in healthy fats causes a lazy gallbladder, which does not contract strongly enough. A low fat diet is not good for the gallbladder. Liver disease can cause a lack of bile production. Hormonal factors. Pregnancy, the high dose oral contraceptive pill or estrogen dominance in women increases the risk of gallstones. A poorly functioning gallbladder, which does not contract efficiently. This leads to stasis of the bile, which increases stone formation or sludge in the gallbladder. This can be caused by inflammation in the gallbladder wall or problems with the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve enables the muscles in the gallbladder wall to contract. The vagus nerve originates in the brainstem and travels through the neck and the chest down to the abdomen. The vagus nerve controls many automatic functions of the body including bowel contractions and gastrointestinal secretions, such as bile and digestive enzymes. The vagus nerve can be damaged by viral infections, such as herpes, and by diabetes and insulin resistance. If the vagus nerve is damaged, the gallbladder and pancreas may not function correctly. Problems with the vagus nerve can be hard to diagnose and are often overlooked. Things that may help the vagus nerve are supplements of magnesium and selenium, weight loss and a low carbohydrate diet. Other factors that increase the risk of gallstones include being overweight, being aged 40 years or older, having a liver condition that affects the flow of bile, such as cirrhosis, primary sclerosing cholangitis, or primary biliary cirrhosis, having Crohn's disease, having a close family member who has gallstones, having recently and rapidly lost a lot of weight from either dieting or weight loss surgery. So what are gallstones made of? Gallstones are hard pebble-like pieces that form in your gallbladder or bile ducts. Gallstones can vary in size from a grain of sand to a golf ball. There are two types of gallstones cholesterol and pigment stones. Cholesterol stones are the most common and make up 80% of gallstones. If your bile contains too much cholesterol and not enough bile salts, stones can form. Your bile should contain enough bile salts to dissolve the cholesterol excreted by your liver. Pigment stones these are far less common and are made of bilirubin and are smaller and darker. 
pigment stones form in patients who break down red blood cells excessively. The treatment of gallstones. Well, many people with gallstones will not require any treatment. They recover from whatever caused the gallstones and don't experience any more symptoms. Some people discover they have gallstones during an unrelated ultrasound scan but have never had any symptoms and they get a big surprise. For many people, the symptoms of gallstones can be managed by changing the diet. If you have gallstones, you should eat plenty of vegetables, fruit, healthy fats, drink a lot of sugar-free fluids and aim to lose weight gradually if you are overweight. Surgery to remove the gallbladder is known as cholecystectomy and will be discussed in another gallbladder video. So I hope uh, you've enjoyed listening to this and if you have more questions we'd love to hear from you. Send us an email from liverdoctor.com or see our book on gallbladder problems. If you like this video please hit like and subscribe and thanks for listening.